it is just like just like heroin. Yeah. But ten times stronger. Yeah, it's really strong. If I could go buy a bag of fentanyl right now, I'd be running to the house. In the last six months, I must have lost a good 12 to 14 friends on fentanyl. It's too dangerous. Everybody seems to be going over on it. I overdosed. I said, look, I'm never doing that again. The next day, I was, I was bang right back at it. Do you know what I mean? Fentanyl is taking the opioid epidemic to a new level of urgency. America is in the midst of declaring a state of national emergency in response to their current opioid crisis. One of the key drivers of this is a powerful synthetic painkiller called fentanyl. The substance has now been linked to a recent spike in overdoses on UK soil. The majority of these cases have been found in Yorkshire and the Humber. We travelled to Hull to meet those affected by this lethal drug. On a scale of 1 to 10, heroin's a 2, and fentanyl's like an 11. It's like, it's like going from being slapped with a pillow to hit by a train, do you know what I mean? I reckon, I reckon we're just a small percentage of what, what it actually is. It'll be there and everywhere. It won't just be a small amount here now and then it's gone. My dad passed away and my nan passed away. My nan and granddad, like, they left me. They'd moved to Scarborough, so I've been on my own since. Why do you think they left? I don't know, to be honest. I was only a kid. They didn't really do much wrong. When you're a kid and you've got no rules, you, you, a lot of things what you shouldn't do or shouldn't have done, you start doing, do you know what I mean? And, I don't know, it just gets worse from there. The National Crime Agency says that 60 people have died in the UK in the past eight months after taking the pain-killing drug fentanyl. It's 50 times more potent than heroin and is the drug that was linked to the death of the rock star Prince. About six months ago, uh, I actually come across it, not looking for it and not realising, but I tried it and it, it blew my head off to be fair. Like I said, it's just, it's just so strong, honestly. Just really, really strong. Quite recently, a lot of people think it's gone for good and think they can't find it, but it's like, I, I, I know where it's coming from and I know where it is and I also get it. Not, not everyone does anymore, but yeah, yeah, it, it's still there. Is it still out on the street? Yeah, definitely, it's definitely it's still on the street. It's definitely yeah. out definitely there, yes. Still out there, yeah. yeah, definitely. 100%. I've lost a lot of good mates to yeah, it. Yeah, it's not good. It's I'd dangerous. Say seven or eight of my friends are dead already. So. Yeah, it's dangerous. Down out of the game now. I have a lot of people asking for it. There's been more deaths since this year alone, end of December, up until now. And so were people worried when they first came in? I, I don't think there was. I think there was more excited than I was. What were you excited about? That it was stronger. Those that were selling the fentanyl was doing a lot more business than the ones that were just selling the normal heroin. Do you think the dealers worry about killing people? Nah, they don't give a toss. They don't give a toss. As long as they're getting their money, they aren't bothered. Back in February, I became aware of what I felt were an increased number of potential drug-related deaths. It was probably the end of March when we started getting some of the toxicology results coming back in where these drugs, which were new to me, um, were getting named in the, some, the toxicology reports. Now, we're probably looking at about a third, very crudely, about a third from those reported have come back with fentanyl, carb fentanyl. Yo. Yo. It's only uh, Luke. Can I meet you for one of each? Does 
it look the same as heroin? Yeah, but slightly like uh, a different colour brown and it's got a slight red tint to it when you cook it up. That's fentanyl on this file. I used to smoke it like him, but once you try it the other way, then don't compare, it's not the same. Smoking, it's uh, more, it creeps up on you more, so far as like it takes time to get your, your buzz, whereas injecting, it's instant straight away, so. It's not that I've stopped caring, but I'm giving up, I'm giving up a bit. Right, I think to myself at the end of the day, like, if I want to, yeah, if I did die, then I don't know, I just, I won't have to worry about anything anymore. Like, I am ashamed of what I do, but at the same time, I feel like I can't stop. I won't need any more for, say, six to 12 hours, so I'll, I won't rattle off, feel fine. Like, the main buzz, I'd say, lasts about 20 minutes. If I'm pro you're proper smashed, then you have, like, a big hit to a couple of hours. CNS depressant. Essentially what happens is that uh, you get the respiratory depression, you get the sedation, you get the drowsiness. Uh, next thing you know, the color will begin to change, they turn blue, the blood pressure will begin to drop, the pulse will begin to drop, and they have difficulty breathing on their own and managing their own uh, cardiovascular system. You get the people who, because of their length of years they've been using drugs for so long and have developed high tolerance to whatever it is, it is that they're using regularly. They want that additional buzz of something else. I still feel it, don't get me wrong, but it's like if that was heroin, I would have got like a tiny amount of that feeling and then like, that, that would have been it, do you know what I mean? So... I was an heroin addict and I went to score a bag of somebody. They never told it, uh, us that fentanyl was in it. We took it. I walked around the corner and I collapsed and my face hit the pavement. I nearly died. My house, my home. It's where I come and just get away from everyone and everything. Go to sleep, refresh my head. Get ready for the next day. So if it's windy, I usually come to my tent to smoke my gear. If you look up here, it's all my foil. It's everywhere. Go to sleep, smoke my drugs. That's all my tent's for. I was going to get uh, heroin one day and I, I bought that. I didn't know what it was. And after like six, seven times of buying it, I found out what it was. 
but it was just stronger than the old one. Does exactly the same thing, but just more intense. So I just loved it. Yeah, there's loads of it in old stuff, but no one wants to put it out because obviously repercussions and that. It's not just like the police what people worry about about it. So like say I saw you old bag of fentanyl and your little brother went over and they're gonna get family coming around kicking off and all. It's just people don't want that on the tours anymore. I just tried it out. Like, I, li I did like it at first, but then I did, like, me and Mike had an argument and we split up for a little while, didn't we? And I went to go get a bag from where I normally got it from, and I smoked a full bag to myself, and it, I, like, I actually went blind for half an hour off it. And it just put me off since then. It really scared me. So I've never touched it since. I just, like, obviously, was just smoking gear. Yeah, there's a difference, so that's why I smoked it for, to be blind. I don't want to see this life, I don't want to see a lot of things. People think that, oh, it's all clutched to this and that. It's not a life I want to live, but it's just a place I've got caught up in. There is a cohort of vulnerable drug users out there who, on a daily basis, will find funds from somewhere, go and buy drugs, take the drugs, and, as we found recently, people are literally dying from taking what they've been taking. Excuse me, can I ask you a favour goodbye? Uh, like, I'm homeless on the street, yeah? I'm literally just trying to get some chains together for some food. I don't suppose you can help me, could you, please? Like, yeah, sure. Thank you. It's been a bit rough, you see. I've uh, uh, been staying in a few doorways, but I've got myself a, a sleeping bag now, so I'm, I'm laughing. I just need to get a couple of quid together so I can go get some fenny and that. Can I ask you a favour could I? Uh, I don't... I, I'm homeless on the street, yeah? Yeah. I'm literally just trying to get some change for something to eat. I don't suppose you can... Eat. I ain't got any more money on me. Now we're aware of what's out there, we are asking more questions and we are trying to work with our intelligence team more to ask who's bringing these, these drugs in. When you look at routes into any system now, when you look at, say, the World Wide Web, when you look at where Hull is placed and then the A63, M62, it's easy to come to. People have been going to areas of Hull where they felt they will get, in their view, the better quality drugs and refer to the strong stuff or the better gear. After a swift response from the National Crime Agency that resulted in a number of operations across the UK, the availability of fentanyl in Hull seemed to have dropped off considerably. Yo, yes, Dan. Yes, Mac. In spite of this, Thank Luke you. was still able to find a dealer that could sell him the drug. You right? I don't know the original source, no, but like I said, there's three main people, three main people in Hull who were, who were doing it, who were getting it. It's like there's a, it's like there's a secret underworld going on, do you know what I mean? And people don't, people don't see it. Who I'm, who I'm going to ring, they didn't have it, whereas they've got it now. Yo, easy. Tony, Ryan, can I meet you for one of each? Yeah, man, we're at the same place, yeah? Yeah, all right, I'll be there in two minutes. Cheers, my man. Boom, sorted. Let's have a look, then. How far along are you now? Yeah. Mm. Right, so you don't know whether to buy or a girl yet, do you? No. no. What do you want? Girl. Girl. Yeah. I look like girl. Yeah, yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Do you know what? Honestly, though, I'm, I'm proud of you in that. So next time you have the next scam photo oh, and it, it's a boy, <laughs> you'll have to show me what, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, just squeeze anyway, I'm going to chip, yeah? yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Look after yourself. It's, it's, my little girl ain't, ain't, ain't going to want to... want to have her dad who's... on gear and fentanyl and crack and... It's fucking, it's, it's not, not a life for her, do you know what I mean? How, how can I set an example? How can I set, set a standard? How can, how, can I, how can I be right for her? I can't, do you know what I mean? I just, I just can't be. Yes, then, darling, right. How are you? How are you? Yeah, not too bad, how are you? I'm not bad. I've just won the lottery, you know? Yeah? Yeah? Get some nice gear. <laughs> Get some nice gear. You, you know it, girl. I'm at the track now. <laughs> All right, same number. All right, safe, brother. Nice one. Get my get my shit now, so like uh, give me two minutes, I'll pop around this corner. 
I know quite a few addicts, yeah. But injecting that, and really, every time they're injecting, really, they're just wanting to die, hoping that they go over. But it doesn't, and they're out for the next day, do the same again. It just comatizes you, throws you to the floor. And it could be six to eight hours if, if you're all right that to, like, to come back round. It's ridiculous, 20 pound. 20 pounds for that. How long is that going to last? Well, it's going to fuck me up instantly, but... a lot worse. What are you doing there? Putting it under my tongue. Cos, uh, obviously, Class A's... If Clap has stopped me and it's under my tongue, I can swallow it straight away. So it's gone. It's a regular currency these days, yeah. yeah. They, seem, they seem to be bashing the, the, the heroin with it. Sell that a lot better, do you yeah. know what I mean? But what it has been selling, so yeah, dangerous stuff. Yeah. Some people don't like it, like, since it disappeared, everyone was like, oh, fucking, I don't want it, I don't want it, because they seen what it was doing to people, but, like, I can't lie, I, I love this shit, and I mean, love it. This is my, one of my good friends, Terry. I went straight off with me on it. And I've been using 30 years. Yeah, not drugs. Yeah, everybody was going over on it. It's uh, that powerful. And apparently you only need 2% of a, ten, of a 10 pound bag can send you over on it. That's how strong it is. We've been aware of fentanyl largely because of what was happening in parts of Europe and in North America. When we first probably became aware of that in this country in around late March. Towards the end of April this year, we issued our, our alert to make the healthcare system aware of the situation and also drug treatment services. Yeah, I am fucking young. Like, do you know what I mean? I, I fucking... Because there's not many people fucking... Well, people call me a bird and there's not many bands who'll do it, but... Why do you think there aren't that many bands that do it? It's one of them, through fear, I suppose. Sorry, Eventually it'll go, you know what I mean? Like, it, like the, it does, you know, it comes and goes, but... Personally, I try to keep away from it. Cos I've, I've, I've been over on it before and I know how dangerous it is. It's very dangerous stuff. How long have you known Luke for then? Luke, about, about a year and a half now. And have you seen him change much? Yeah, I've seen him change for the worst, really. I've told him as well, but, like I say, it's so hard to get off, and he, the, pull, the pull and the addiction of it is, is so hard to break. It's like having a monkey on your shoulder 24-7, isn't it, Luke? Yeah. Fucking hell. Hmm. Bad sleep last night. Thank you for that, Terry. All right, mate. Thank you, mate. Do you feel better? Yeah, much better, mate. Thank you. Sitting on a smoke now. Come on, Bill. I'll see you later, Bill. Another day living the dream. Just off to the uh, hostel, go see if I can get my room sorted. It's like running a bit late in that, but that's what I mean. My priority should be one thing, but your priorities go out the window. Do you know what I mean? And I know there's a lot of people that are addicted to it now, where they, they would only buy that with fentanyl in. And I look at them and I say, well, well, so basically they've got actually addicted to the fentanyl. They're not addicted to the heroin, they're addicted to the fentanyl. And I, I, there's, a, there's a good 10, 12 people who I know what just want the fentanyl now. Hey, 
egg of it first. So maybe a month or so, and an egg of it. It seems to just disappear. It was like a batch come in that got sold. Once that got sold, it, it, it disappeared. And it's gone back to the, so I've been told, it's gone back to the normal. Personally, I think whoever put the fentanyl in didn't realise what it was, didn't realise what, was, what they were doing. I don't think I've heard about it for over six weeks now. Yeah, it seems to have dried up. That's my experience. Um, I don't know whether they're using or not telling us, or is it just that it's no longer available for now? How come you're late for the hostel? It's my, my habit's got in the way. Are you worried about it coming back? Obviously. That would be the trend. You get periods when the batch comes in, people use them and then it dries up. And uh, then it comes back again. Don't say again. You needed to have been here earlier to do the paperwork and everything. <sighs> It's only my, I, I, I have to be here though, because it's like my finger address, my, my bail address, I, I have to be here. My, my, name, my, name, my name's Luke, my name's Luke. After six o'clock with dirt, move people in. One of the concerns is also like how long your offending history actually is, because uh, from what I can gather, your probation like has clued it in on like a fair amount of it. You need to come back tomorrow, and it's half after 10, speak to the manager, and then we can go from there, all right? Huh. The verdict, Luke. Uh, not so good. I'm banned from most of the hostels because I uh, rent arrears, a lot of fighting, etc. Feels like I'm uh, I'm always waiting for something. It's like a full time job, I'm having a, having an habit. It's like you've got a. Get the money for it, or you feel shit. Then you spend half your time running around trying to ring up. Then you spend half your time running around to get it. Then the rest of your time you spend trying to find somewhere to do it, especially when you're homeless. I think it might make a comeback. Mm. I think, personally, I think people just being quiet because so much has happened so quick with it, so they've all just panicked, so like, say a year, maybe two years. There's a market there for it, so I think it would come back. After spending two weeks in Hull, it became clear that the current batch of fentanyl had run out. But there were still fears from the authorities and the people that we talked to on the street that the problem could resurface at any time. I think we always need to remain vigilant, and, and if it's not fentanyl, it could be something else. So we need to make sure that treatment services, that the harm reduction messages are right, and that we're ready to respond if it comes back on a, on a larger scale. Does it ever get easier doing this, Luke? No. Don't ever. It's fucking... It's just the same shit, different day, you know what I mean? <laughs> 